Hey, what is going on, guys? It is SLJ. Welcome back to a very new video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2. I'm going to keep it short and sweet um, of my thoughts on the uh, title. I am, I'm not going to have a drawn-out, hour-long video just to explain about, you know, the game. I'm just going to think of, you know, tell you guys my thoughts on, uh, so far, of how I've played it. Currently, I'm level 6. Um, I don't really know the progress on my game. I've beaten a few main missions, uh, but mostly I've just been doing a lot of roaming around and uh, doing side missions and strongholds and, or not strongholds, outposts. Uh, strongholds are the new big kind of thing. I think they're kind of like Nightfalls uh, that Destiny had, but um, not really, I don't really know for sure. But um, I'm just going to give you guys, guys my thoughts. Uh, before the video starts, though, I do want to say that there are some complications and the uh, raw brand, my clothing brand, is no longer. But um, don't don't fear, I'm, I'm riding solo. <laughs> I'm riding solo, so I am um, going great. There's my phone. Nice. Always in my videos. Awesome. Anyway, um, but yeah, we are no longer. Um, so the other owner uh, of the Rob Brandt has uh, split, dipped, basically. Uh, they didn't really dip. He kind of just quit because uh, he just, I don't know. It, it's complications that I don't really want to go into. Um, but I'm still releasing all my clothing, all my designs, um, just under my new name, Anxia. So that's my uh, artist name, and that's where I've, what I've been going by for quite a while. So, um, yeah, so that's a little bit of news, just a little bit of an update of what's going on. But first, all right, but now, let's talk about The Division 2 and how fucking awesome this game is. So I was right. I was 100% I was right. This game is phenomenal. It is a phenomenal title. Um, so far that I've been playing it, uh, it's got the nostalgic feel of The Division 1, um, but also just it's it's got this really nice coat of paint on it where it just it looks nice, it feels nice, um, everything's like, everything's just so much more polished and, and just, oh my god, it's it's so nice, it really is, it's, it, they, they polished it very, very nicely, they... Uh, they, they made it, you know, they made it a really, really nice, solid game. They took a lot of, you know, like they said, you know, before when they announced this title and they, nice, they announced this game, they said that they were taking all of the great things from the Division 1 and they're going to jam pack it in and they're going to they're going to improve and make a lot of uh, new things in Division 2 and they're going to um, they're going to clean things up and make things a lot more simpler and um, a lot more better and well I'll be damned that's exactly what they did they uh, just mishmashed all of the good things from the Division 1 um, like all of the improvements like they've done uh, yeah it wasn't really you know hunky dory right at, right at the beginning um, but they're, they're, we're talking about their improvements they've made over the game and, and over their experience with the uh, IP and the you know the software and everything. Um, that's what we're talking about. And they just they took it and they made it so good. It is it's it's very enjoyable. Um, you know, in Division One, the problem was you could literally sit in one spot for like ever, and you could literally just sit there and shoot. But now in the Division Two, you've got people rushing you from every single angle. You've got grenades being flown at you. Like as of right now, I have to move from cover to cover to cover to cover to cover because if I stay in one spot, I'm just gonna get chucked nades at me. I'm gonna get bum rushed. I'm gonna get uh, you know uh, pinned down and i'm basically gonna get fucking screwed so that's the it's it's really cool the fact that they keep you on your toes keeps you moving makes the game more interesting and you know more uh exciting it makes it it makes it uh it makes it not boring if that makes any sense like it doesn't make it where you're just sitting there okay i'm just uh putting bullets in this bullet sponge this guy um that's you know that's a boss that's running around um and everything i'm not just running around constantly uh, trying to um, kill this certain person or like I'm just sitting there in one spot up on a balcony just sniping all these enemies. No, there'll be enemies hitting you from left and right and you got to freaking, uh, yeah, freaking, <laughs> you got to choose um, which spot you're going to go next to or next and you got to kind of, it's kind of a, it's it's really nice. It keeps you thinking, keeps you going. Um, even on side missions and, and those like outpost things, it just keeps you going and it's, it's it makes it more interesting. It makes it more exciting. It makes it more fun to be able to go out and go to a different outpost and it's different every time. Different bosses, different uh, layout, uh, different enemies, um, different uh, names of enemies and it's 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 really cool. It's, it, it's a nice concept that they did and um they didn't have this stuff in the division one. They didn't have outposts. They didn't have you know settlements. They didn't have any of that stuff. And it's really nice and refreshing to have that stuff. You know, have a nice feel. Um, you know, it's it's the division. You know, 
if you play the Division One um, and you went through the Division One and you're a veteran like I am, uh, and you play, you pick up the Division Two. It's basically run wise, uh, feel wise, it's the same game. And that's that's not a bad thing. I really liked the way the Division One felt. I really liked uh, how the movement was. Um, I like the cover to cover uh, system. It's really really nice. It's really smooth and, and it, it flows well with this game. Be, it being third person and being a, kind of a loot shooter, um, and uh, it's 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 phenomenal. This game uh, it has its problems. Uh, it does have its problems. There are a few problems, like uh, some of the enemies being huge bullet sponges, like from the Division One. They promised that wasn't going to be a problem, um, but they definitely did fix it with the whole uh, you can shoot pieces of armor off the big guys. Because before in the Division One, you couldn't do that. You couldn't. Uh, you couldn't. You you'd be shooting at a guy all day, and there'd be nothing happening, and you'd be like, "What the fuck? Why is this? <laughs> why is this not happening?" And he would just basically walk up to you and fucking dome you. But in this, it's different. You can actually pull tactics, and you can actually blow off armor on his legs you can blow off certain parts on his body um to show his you know show his actual you know his actual body and then you can attack him and then once you attack him then you, he's easily you know once his armor falls off he's literally just like a normal soldier and you can easily just wipe him out and it's really 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 nice uh to be able to do that you know it's it's nice to be able to take on uh, yellow enemies um you know with one person you know you don't have to have a full squad to take them out and now there's going to be raids uh, I, I think that's really really cool uh the fact that there's going to be a uh what they say eight man raid that's really cool um just the the fact that there's going to be uh you know, you're able to go in with eight people, kind of like how, um, you know, uh, World of Warcraft, I believe, and, and, and other MMO type of uh, raids, you have multiple people, you have more than just four, in Destiny, there were four, there, you could, you could easily go through four, uh, with four people, but now there's eight, it's an eight-man raid, and that's gonna be fucking fun, I am very pumped for that, um, I'm super excited to see how, what the raid's gonna be, um, and everything, and, uh, they changed it from, you know, expansions to it's called episodes now, and I don't know if uh, they're still going to have, you know, expansions in the Dark Zone or expansions, or just going to be story-based. I have no clue. Um, I have to read up on it. It probably explains it. If you guys know, um, if you guys know knowledge on what the episodes are uh, with the Division uh, 1 or Division 2, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any, any more info on um, what, you know, what the episodes are. I mean, are they expansions, or are they just, you know, are they just... Uh, uh, just another name for expansion. I don't, I have really, I have no clue. But um, this game has been really fun. I have been drawn to it. I have been grinding this game a lot um, ever since I, you know, ever since I got it. Uh, it's, it's a, it's, it's a very enjoyable game. Keeps you on your seat. Keeps you going. Uh, keeps you. It's very, very exciting. Um, it's a very cool game. Uh, interesting game at, at the least. I gotta say, um, interesting at the least. I keep dying because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time, and it's not. This game is not a good game to um, to do a commentary and play because it's just it doesn't work hand to hand because you're trying to do all this stuff. But um, the coolest thing is it's going back to the whole keeping you on your seat and moving from cover to cover. Enemies can kill you faster, and just you know when you walk up to a red enemy and you say, "Oh, this red enemy is gonna fucking suck. I could just dome him, move on." Well. That could be the case, but they also can get the jump on you, and they can also move around when you're not expecting it and fucking kill you. They can kill you as easily as a fucking yellow enemy can, you know, and they're as just uh, as difficult as a yellow enemy. They're they're pretty much balanced. It's nice. Um, it's just the, you know, the yellow enemies have armor. They have more uh, thicker armor than, you know, your average grunt soldier with just red, red health. Um, it's, you know, it's... It, they're the same thing, you know, it, don't underestimate the red enemies in this game, do not underestimate in this game, now Division 1, you can fly through them like it's nothing, you know, if you're level 30 rolling around, just, you could just fuck up a whole squad in seconds, but in this game, you'd be, you'd be in a good firefight for about a few minutes, if it's just, you know, four, four guys, you know, you'd be in a good firefight, um, so that's why that's why you saw me running past all these guys when they didn't see me because I didn't want to get into another firefight because once I get into a firefight then you know I'm you know in this battle oh, and there's two people right here see like there's and um you know and then see how like how these uh, red enemies I mean yeah I'm a low level blah 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 I know but I've heard this from you know level 30s people that have already gotten to level 30 already in the two days in the well they had an early early access because um, they got the 120 dollar version. Uh, but 
yeah, so they, they had it early, but I've heard from level 30s that, you know, from YouTubers that it's literally the same thing. Uh, you'll be walking around as a level 30, you'll roll up to a, uh, you know, a couple of red enemies, and you'll be in a firefight. You'll be in a good, decent firefight for a few minutes, and uh, and I like that. I like the fact that I gotta be in a firefight, because it makes it more realistic, and it makes it more immersive, that you're not just going through, and you're just fucking killing these people that are just put in the world just to make it so-called realistic and, and and alive but really in this game they really did make it alive i didn't believe them when they were like oh we're gonna make dc alive like you know yeah new york really wasn't alive back in the division one yeah blah 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 well i mean it kind of was alive it was pretty realistic to its time you know the uh, the green flu just hit uh, everybody was staying inside people were fighting for their lives um so there really wasn't a lot of people on the streets you know you know what i mean so it, it kind of made sense and it was kind of realistic in some point but they were like we, we want to make it more realistic we want to make it more alive and they did that they did that just so um they uh you know they made it where you know there's hostiles everywhere they're bullying civilians there's actual civilians walking everywhere uh the gtf actually look like real people um you know uh uh, yeah, in the Division One, um, you know the JTF was, you know the JTF was formed in New York, but they had, you know, like they looked like the Coast Guard. They had like green armor on. They looked like they were from the military. And you know, and and the lore of the JTF, the Joint Task Force, uh, which is the people that fight along with you, the division agents, um, which are the people you saw back there, though the reinforcements I just called, um, they actually see these people right here. That person right there. Um, they used to wear like, you know, armor and stuff like that. They look like Coast Guard military, but these people, they're, they actually look like civilians and that's what division agents actually are in the JTF is actually too. Um, the JTF are the mix of like police officers and firefighters and Coast Guard and, and, you know, all these different, um, you know, construction people. And that's, you know, they were, um, you know, they, they get formed and they actually look like civilians. It makes it more realistic. Like, yeah, they're fighting for their lives and they're part of a joint task force. They look like civilians. They don't look like soldiers. And it's actually, you know, they're, they're fighting for their, you know, it's, it's, it's realistic to me. It is because I think it's, um, it's a really cool aesthetic to see, you know, civilians fighting for their lives. Cause you know, they, they had to join together joint task force. They had to join together to keep, you know, the government, um, to keep the world sane, you know, to, to help bring order to uh, help at least bring a little bit of order to uh, the United States. And it's really freaking cool. I honestly think it's the coolest thing in the world that they did um, instead of making them run around in fucking green armor like they did in New York. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, they probably got, gave them uniforms and stuff like that to do that. But it's really cool to see the civilian aspect to it. And, um, you know, fun fact, if you guys didn't know, if you guys aren't, you know, into the division lore, um, the cleaners used to be part of the the JTF. If you guys know who the cleaners are, they were uh, garbage men. Um, they're basically your garbage men, your construction workers, everything. Um, and they were, you know, part of the joint task force to keep New York, you know, in order. They were to keep New York in order and to keep it sane and, and to bring justice to New York uh, while all this hell was going on. And, you know, eventually everything was dropping. People were getting sick of the flu. And then the main guy that you do kill, the main cleaner guy that you kill in the missions, um, he actually um, brought everyone together and joined and made the cleaners um, because they were, uh, they wanted to bring order. And technically, um, in some ways, they were kind of the good guys. It's kind of it's kind of weird to say that, but they were kind of the good guys um, behind all of it. They were trying to bring order and they were trying to burn everything as possible to bring order and to stop this virus from spreading, to save the world. So basically, they were kind of in the right, but also in the wrong. They were heroes, but also villains in a way. So that's, you know, that's kind of a cool little fun fact about the cleaners. Um, but yeah, so it was really, it's really, really nice. And it's, it's really well executed. This game is, it's, it's really nice. I am, I, I've been saying that a lot and it's the truth. It, they have done, you know, if, if, you know, if you have been a division one veteran and you've came to the division two, you basically would be like, wow, this is what I like in a sequel, you know, and, and this is what I wish, De you know, Destiny 2 would have been. And I'm glad that um, Bungie is moving away from Activision. Um, I'm definitely really glad that they are because now hopefully they'll make a, you know, hopefully they'll make a Destiny 1 again, a really nice solid title because um, because De Destiny 2 was awful. And I was really skeptical when I when I saw this. Um I was like, great, the Division 2, I don't know if it's going to be good. I, 
I saw the Destiny 2, and, you know, usually sequels are ass. Usually sequels are bad, but no. Uh, massive Entertainment, they were like, no, no, we are not going to take that. Uh, we are not going to um, have that weight on us that, you know, oh, the sequel is going to be terrible because, because everyone else has failed. No, we're going to succeed. And they have really done it so far. This game is a solid game, and I'm very, very happy for the developers that actually uh, made this game. They made it a solid, solid game fucking title and i'm very proud of it i'm very proud to play this game i'm proud to spend my money on this game because it is nice yeah there are macro transactions but they're all cosmetic everything's cosmetic and yeah you can buy crates but they're crates for cosmetic items none of it gives you an advantage it just gives you a cosmetic cool look that's what i like about ubisoft is that yeah there's micro transactions in games i've dealt with this with siege i've dealt with this with rainbow uh or not rainbow um ghost recon wildlands i've dealt with this with the division now um but it's cool because it's it's not like Black Ops or it's not like all these other games where you um you know you open up these you know these caches they're called caches in this game um, they're basically the same premise in Ghost Recon Wildlands which I really like um, which I I really hope they bring rainbow uh, skins into the Division Two that'd be fucking sick to run around with a Doc skin or like a Kev Cavi skin like how you can in uh, Ghost Recon Ghost Recon there's actually a lore mission with Cavi Cavi actually comes to uh, Bolivia and actually and it's it's um. It's really freaking cool. I'm actually stuck. Um, but it's really cool. They, they brought lore into Ghost Recon, and uh, they mixed the, both of, you know, Rainbow and Ghost Recon together. And I really hope they do that with the Division. That'd be fucking sick. Um, like, you know, maybe, uh, like, uh, Jaeger or, um, uh, you know, Thatcher. Maybe they're in DC or something like that. They're helping out the Division agent. That'd be really cool. And then you can run around with uh, Rainbow uh, skins. I would fucking, I would pay for that shit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all cosmetic and that's what I really love about it. And I know it's not going to later down the road, they're going to add, uh, you know, like weapons to the crates or they're not going to add, you know, uh, certain type of armor to enhance their abilities in the game. No, I, I seriously do not think that at all because it, I've seen this in Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon never added that stuff. They added skins and it was really cool and really well played out. And I, that's how I know that this game is going to be a really good game. And I bought the season pass. I was very skeptical in buying the season pass. I was like, let me play the game. Let me see the reviews. and Or let me just play the game, see how I like it. And I'm like, it's probably going to be good. You know, I really had, I, I started having high hopes for it. I started having hype for it um, towards its release. And I was, because I pre-ordered it for $60. And I was like, I'm not going to get the expensive versions. I'm just going to play my cards right. You know, pay the $60, pre-order the game, get the pre-order bonuses, which are really cool, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm just going to, place my bets because I'm because I I've been disappointed before I've wasted my money before on games and it's really disappointed me because I have been hyped for certain games destiny 2 and I've spent a lot of money you know pre-ordering them destiny 2 and I have been disappointed destiny 2 yeah uh, yeah I'm sorry I've had to say that a lot but I truly I was disappointed in destiny 2 I really was I was hugely disappointed in that game uh, I spent, um, I, I bought the, uh, limited edition for it cause I was super hyped for it cause I beat, I literally hundred percent it and got platinum for the, or uh, for destiny one. I beat everything. I beat every raid. I've gotten everything. I even got the shirt at the end the age of triumph shirt. I bought that. I got the actual shirt cause I got ranked tier seven in the, uh, book towards the end of the year. So yeah, I've, I've beaten everything in that fucking game. And I was like, oh yes, destiny two, you know, fresh new star I'm, I'm a huge destiny fan here we go and then destiny 2 came out and it was trash and i was expecting that with the division 2 and i was like mm, i don't know but it really goes to show that there are there are, there are good developers out in this world there are good good solid developers that keep their promise and keep what they mean and that i really respect them for so this game definitely you should give it a try definitely should give it a buy because this game is really really solid and it's a beautiful game at that too and it's a very fun game and i cannot wait to play with more of my friends more of my friends were kind of skeptical as well just like me but you know i take that risk because i'm kind of their little bit of their hardcore gamer friend so i kind of um i don't really consider you know i i barely game anymore but i'm kind of the more knowledge person when it comes to gaming so i usually give them the heads up you know hey this game's good or hey this game's completely ass so if they see this video then they'll know and i'll tell them in person you know that this game is really good and really honestly i would definitely recommend this game to anyone um, that really likes looter shooters that likes and they also have they have pvp and dark zone for everyone they have stuff for everyone in this game they have the dark zone which is pv and pv PvP. You can kill people and go rogue, and you can steal armor, and you can also have a high, you know, high risk, high reward gear in the in the dark zone. And um, they also have a thing called um, 
I forget what it's called. It's 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 like matchmaking. It's like multiplayer now in this game, which is really cool. And then you also have the PV e aspect to it so there you go so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this video informed you and hopefully uh, you know you guys will pick this game up because it's a very enjoyable game and i i myself am am seeing myself dump hundreds of hours into this game definitely i'm definitely gonna hump dump hump <laughs> i'm definitely gonna dump a hundred over a hundred hours in this game probably even more than that because uh, i have over over a hundred and something hours in uh, Rainbow, and I love Rainbow. So I love Ubisoft games. They're slowly getting better and better and better and better and better and better and better. They had a really dark time that really drove me away from Ubisoft titles, but now you know with the Division Two, Rainbow Six Siege, Ghost Recon Wildlands, they are really coming back, and they are coming back strong. And that's why I love Ubisoft now. They are one of my favorite developers, and uh, this definitely makes me love them even more. With this, uh, and you know, obviously, it doesn't. You know, it's not all about Ubisoft. It's about the developer. It's about um, you know the people that actually make the game. And Massive Entertainment. They are a huge plus for me. I love Massive Entertainment now. So thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me go uh, let me know if you guys have actually played if you're playing it right now and you, let me know your thoughts on it whether you like it or you hate it um give me you guys a, give me a reason why um i'd love to read you guys' comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys